I'm going to show you a really neat feature that QuickBooks Online has. I can take a billable expense, so that's an expense that I incur that I'm going to invoice my client for, so it's a reimbursable expense, and I can attach uh, an image, uh, the receipt, the spreadsheet, whatever, to that billable expense and use that image to then include it with the invoice to my client. So let me show you how that works. Let me go ahead and create the expense. And let's say I used uh, my credit card. So I'm going to select here my credit card. It's not created yet. Let me create it real quick. Okay, so it's in my Amex that I used, uh, used it. I'm going to select here any account. It doesn't really matter which account I choose here because I'm going to get reimbursed anyway. So that's going to end up uh, back at zero. Now, down here on the right, you should be able to see customer job and billable. If that is not there, we have to go into the settings to turn that on. So let me show you that how to do that. So we're going to click on the gear box and then we're going to click on company settings. Then we're going to click on expenses. Then we're going to click on bills and expenses. And then here it says make expenses and items billable. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And then it gives you a couple of options here. Do we want to set up a markup? That means we want to make money on the deal. So let's say that's not the case. And then it says, um, do we want to track uh, expenses and items as income using one account or multiple accounts? So you could choose multiple accounts if you're, if you're hitting multiple um, different items. So really, it's a really matter of preferences here. So I'm going to I'm gonna put single account for now and then click save. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit done and then go back to that transaction I was working on. So I'm going to click on quick create and I'll click on expense. And then I'll select uh, my vendor. So let's say this is Lowe's and I'm using my American Express. So I'll pick the account. Again, it doesn't matter because it's going to get reimbursed anyway. And then I'm going to select the amount at $143. And I'll put here um, additional materials, whatever it is. And then here, I'm going to make sure I mark it billable. And then under customer job, I'm going to select my customer that I want to invoice eventually. Now, the key element here is under attachments. I'm going to go ahead and make this screen a little bit smaller. And then this is the receipt that I want to attach. So this is a receipt that I scanned or took a picture of it, whatever. So I'm going to grab that receipt and drag it into the attachments section. Then when that's finished uploading, then I'm going to go ahead and click save a new. And after I hit save a new, uh, it's going to go to a new transaction. So let's say this other transaction here, Microsoft is the one that I want to get reimbursed for. So let's say um, this is not a, an expense. Let's say this is a check just to kind of change this up a little bit. So I'm going to go into a check and then I'm going to put here uh, Microsoft and then I'll pick my bank account, which I didn't have one. So I'll just create one real quick and then I'll pick uh, the category, which in this case, again, as I mentioned before, that's going to get reimbursed. So we'll put here um, software for project or whatever. Then we'll put the amount, let's say it's $240. We're going to mark that billable. That's a crucial element right there. And select the customer that we're going to uh, bill for later. Then I'm going to grab the receipt that I have here on the computer, drag it onto attachments. When that is finished, I can click there where it says show existing. And then I'm going to be able to see it here on the right side. And I can click on preview and I can see what it looks like before I move forward. And that transaction is finished. So let me go ahead and click uh, save a new here. And let me invoice my client for the uh, reimbursable expenses. So I'm going to click here where it says uh, create, which is that plus sign. And then I'm going to go to invoice. And then I'm going to select the customer that I want to invoice, the only customer I have here in the system. And then what happens here immediately on the right side, you see this uh, this column that says add to invoice and it shows you that there's two billable expenses in there. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't give you any indication that there's an attachment there, but uh, when I add them by just clicking on add, I'll add that one and add that one. We can scroll down to the attachments and we can actually see uh, the attachments that belong to those expenses. And then I would have to put a check mark on each one, uh, letting it know that I do want uh, those two invoices to be attached to the invoice to the sorry those two receipts to be attached to the invoice i'm going to click here on um, print and preview and then you're going to see what the invoice looks like 
and this is the invoice your your client is going to have any activity that i wrote on the memo is going to pass through and that's actually really great and you can't see it on the preview but when i actually um, email this um, you're going to see those attachments uh, in the email i'm going to click i'm going to put my own email address here uh, just so i can show you as an example and then when i open up my email um, this is the email that my client would have just so i can see there's my amount and then down here there are the two attachments so that's um, how you take uh, attachments from expenses and attach them to reimbursable invoices. Thank you.